Seth Money right. Brown, Mary right. Smith Jr. That boy Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> yeah. What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This is your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on Big Dogs at the World Weight Division. We got Terrence T. Bud Crawford, the three-division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, the current WO World Weight World Champion. We have Sean Showtime Porter, who is the former two-time World Weight World Champion. And we got Timothy Bradley, who is the two-division world champion. Um, at Junior Welterweight and at Welterweight. And Tim Bradley has came out and expressed his feelings about Terrence Crawford and Showtime Sean Porter. And he said nobody knows them and that they fight should be on pay-per-view. He said a fight shouldn't be on pay-per-view. You understand what I'm saying? So Bradley is saying that um, this, these are Tim Bradley words, y'all. He said, you have two guys who aren't relatively known, said Bradley, right? Then he doubled down with that. He said, I walked around and asked 20 random people who don't know anything about boxing? Do you know Terrence Bud Crawford? They said no. Have you ever heard of Sean Porter? No. All 20 of them said they never heard of them. So why is this fight on pay-per-view? So, y'all see Tim Bradley coming out saying um, Sean Porter and Terrence Bud Crawford is not known. He said nobody knows them. Nobody. So this fight is not pay-per-view worthy. He's saying this fight should be on ESPN or just on regular um, television or a cable network for us to watch, right? So this is Tim Bradley. You understand? Somebody who praises turns T-Boy Crawford to the max. Say he's the best thing out there smoking at 147. Nobody at 147 can beat him or shit like that. So, y'all know turns Boy Crawford need the big-time PBC fight. Y'all know turns Boy Crawford been looking for the big-time PBC fights. Right? I just don't agree with Terrence Bud Crawford when he make it like, oh, they, the boys at PBC don't want to fight him because I feel like that's some bullshit. I feel like Bob Irm, his promoter, don't want to pay nobody to fight him. And he knows that. And you know for damn sure if you don't pay nobody to get into the ring with you, T-Bud, you're not going to get the big fights. It's just not going to happen. So how is Terrence Bud Crawford looking at um, um, Tim Bradley now? Because right now Tim Bradley is shitting on him and Showtime Sean Porter and hating on their money for pay-per-view. That's knocking their people hustle. That's trying to take away from what they can build up. And a fight that is, you know, anticipated that people really want to see. Terrence Bud Crawford. We all know what he's doing at, at the welterweight division. Right? But we all want to see him fight this guy right here in Showtime, Sean Porter. We all know Sean Porter fought everyone, man. Porter has fought everyone. We talk about a warrior in his boxing game. Whether you like Sean Porter fighting style or not, whether you had something to say about Kenny Porter or not, one thing you go do is respect these motherfuckers and the Porters, bro. You're going to respect um, Kenny Porter and Sean Porter. They, they earned my respect. They earned my respect. You did? Now, Sean Porter then fought some of everybody at the welterweight division, and he fought Earl Spence on pay-per-view. You know what I mean? His last fight against Floyd Miller, he went out there, you know, just to get back in the winning category after losing to Earl Spence. But Showtime, Sean Porter is on a one-fight win streak. And Showtime Sean Porter versus Terrence T. Bud Crawford is one hell of a fight. That's a big-time fight at the welterweight division. Terrence Bud Crawford is the number two welterweight in the world behind Earl the True Spence Jr., who is the king of the division. Showtime Sean Porter is damn sure number four if you want to put him right behind your Dennis Ugas. You dig what I mean? And you got to look at this fight as one hell of a fight, bro. One hell of a fight. And guess what? People will pay for this fight. I will pay for Sean Porter versus Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford versus Showtime Sean Porter, however you want to put it. You know T-Bud ain't go first because he's the A-side. But Tim Browdy, what the fuck are you talking about? Of course you're going to go ask 20 people that don't watch boxing who is these people. If they don't watch boxing, of course they're not going to fucking know who they are, bro. Everybody don't have to be a big-time mega superstar to go on pay-per-view. I want y'all to understand these things, bro. That's why cats began me fucked up when they get to talking about, oh, well, you know, they're not selling a million pay-per-views. They're not a main attraction. They're not a superstar. Listen, do y'all understand what pay-per-view is for, bro? Do y'all understand what pay-per-view is for? Sometimes pay-per-view can be to pay the fighters their purses, right? To make the network some extra money, right? Of course, everybody not going to do Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao numbers. Of course, everybody not going to do Canelo uh, Mayweather numbers. Everybody not going to do Oscar De La Hoya Mayweather numbers. No, but you can still do good fucking numbers on pay-per-view, bro. Still do good numbers. Showtime, Sean Porter, and Tim, I mean, uh, Turns Blood, 
Crawford don't have to be known by the entire world for their fight to be on pay-per-view. I want y'all to understand what I'm saying and really listen to me here, man. Understand the fucking game, man. Sam Bradley know the game, you bald head, pickle juice eating motherfucker, you. You know it, right? You. The only pay-per-views you've been on is with Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, he put you on that level. Nobody knew who you was. You dig what I'm saying? So when I'm looking at the situation, and we looking at Bud Crawford, I think he probably went on pay-per-view with Marquez. I don't. I, I, I think he probably him and Marquez probably went on pay-per-view. But nonetheless, Bud Crawford and Showtime Sean Porter, bro, is something that we will pay for. That is something that we will pay for, bro. Everybody want to see Terrence Bud Crawford fight one of the big paper, um, one of the PBC dudes. If Terrence Crawford was to fight Sean Porter, bro, we will pay for that fight. We will pay for that fight. So Tim Bradley is wrong, man. Tim Bradley is wrong. You can sit up here and say, oh, it's not pay-per-view worthy, this, that, and the third. You stepping on these dudes' toes and fucking their money up, bro. And that's another thing that I hate. I hate when somebody try to mess up somebody's money, dog. That is not cool. That is not cool to me, bro. Seriously. Y'all go out there and say this and say that, bro. Y'all fucking up people's money, bro. Y'all fucking up people's money. And you as a fighter, Tim Bradley, you know better. You know better, Tim Bradley. You know better. You feel me? You can't do that type of shit to these dudes, bro. If the people go pay for it, it's up to the people. It's up to the people. It's not up for you to be making these type of, um, you know, these type of statements. Shitting on these dudes fucking fight, bro. Shitting on they fight. You and, you and Terrence Crawford must be buddy-buddy like brothers and shit. But you'll come out and say he's unknown. You'll come out and say that he's not worthy of a pay-per-view fight. When us, the fans, know that we're trying to see Terrence Bud Crawford fight in a big-time pay-per-view fight to see if his numbers can be even better than what they was going up against, I mean, trying to get the big fight with Earl the True Spence Jr. Come on now, man. Come on now, man. And this is not me advocating for Sean Porter and um, Terrence Crawford to be on pay-per-view. This is not me doing that. This is me saying that Tim Bradley need to mind his own business and get out of other people's fucking business, bro. Because when we look at this fight, bro, we all... Assume that this fight is going to be on pay-per-view. Let's keep it real. I think we all looked at this fight saying, you know what? This fight going to be on pay-per-view, bro. I think we all looked at this, at this fight saying that, bro. And it's pay-per-view worthy. Sean Porter versus Terrence Crawford is pay-per-view worthy. People wants to see it, dog. If I was um, Terrence Crawford, I'd be going to fuck off on Tim Bradley. If I was Sean Porter, I'd be going to fuck off on Tim Bradley, bro. Because he's stepping on toes. He's stepping on toes. If y'all don't say nothing to Tim Bradley, y'all better not say shit to Monty Brown for getting on y'all motherfucking ass, bro. Y'all better not say nothing to Monty Brown when I see y'all at one of these fights for getting on y'all ass, bro. Because on the simple fact of this is something that it goes against the grain. This is taking food out of your kids' mouths, right? This is taking recognition off of y'all talent. This is really shitting on y'all like y'all are nobodies, homie. That's how I look at this. That's how Monty B look at this. You understand what I'm saying? Tim Bradley is way out of order on this one, homie. He's way out of order. Showtime Sean Porter, you got the Porterway podcast. I want to hear you say something. Terrence Crawford, I know this is your homeboy. I know you went sparring with him. You know, he called Cameron Duncan, things of that nature, told people they better sign you. He tried to sign you himself. I know you beat his ass in sparring and shit like that. You impressed him. And he be all on your jock straps, riding for you to be Earl Spence. And if this person is ducking you and that person is ducking you, but then they'll come out and say this type of shit about you. Oh, man, I know you better give him a phone call or something behind the scenes. You better do something. You better do something. And I'm not saying Tim Bradley don't have his own mind or that he can't speak his own mind. But when you come out and say this type of shit, to me, it's almost like accuse somebody of being on steroids. You know what I'm saying? Because when I look at it, you discredit it. You are discrediting. It's not up to you, Tim Bradley, to say what fight should or shouldn't be on pay-per-view. It's not up to you. Now, it, it, it's up to you to pay your money for it or not. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to pay your money for the fight. You can be like, you know what? I feel like I'm, I ain't paying my money for it. Other people might want to do it. I'll go watch it over somebody else's house, or I'll do this, that, and the third to see it or check it out later on down in, in life. But it's not up to you to come out with articles saying, oh, well, I went around and I asked 20 people. Wow, only 20? Wow, only 20? Out of how many? You dig what I mean? So what about the next 20 you ask? Well, if they do know Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford, but if you go ask people who don't know boxing about people in boxing, of course they're not going to know shit. Just like if you go ask people about UFC who don't watch the UFC, they're not going to know shit. So that's not proving anything, right? You're not proving nothing by doing that. Oh, well, you see, I told you, these guys are on household names. 
Of course, motherfuckers ain't Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Money Mayweather. We know everybody not going to know these fighters like that, bro. You did. But at the end of the day, dog, I just feel like it's straight weak ass, weak ass, weak ass shit to do something like that. I'm against anybody that's trying to knock somebody else hustle. I'm against anybody, and I ain't going to even say hustle, but they payday. Because hustle sound like some other shit right now. But to knock somebody else payday, bro, from their hard work and dedication, dog. Their hard work and their dedication, and this is their business. This is their business, bro. If it don't line up with Tim Bradley business, then Tim Bradley need to shut his ass up and sit down and relax, bro. And somebody should have got on his ass for this article. Because that's an out-of-line article. That's an out-of-line article, dog. Everybody want to see this fight, man. I'm going to continue to say this, bro. Just ask how many people who they want to see Bud Crawford fight next. Who you want to see Turns Bud Crawford fight next? Who you want to see Turns Bud Crawford fight next? Who you want to see Turns Bud Crawford fight next? Majority of these motherfuckers going to say Showtime Sean Porter. Showtime Sean Porter. I feel like that's a hell of a fight. I feel like that's going to be the fight to, um, to push Bud. But having fought that caliber opponent yet at the welterweight division, we want to see how he do against those people, against those caliber opponents. You dig? And people will say, you know what, I'll pay to see that fight. <laughs> Majority of the people I talk to saying I would pay to see that fight. And I agree with them 120%, dog. So at the end of the day, man, Tim Bradley, get out of these people's business, bro. You're a commentator. Commentate. Commentate, bro. Let their business be their business. If you go on pay-per-view, you might be there to commentate so you ain't got to pay shit for it. You know what I mean? Leave it up to the fans to choose what fights are pay-per-view and pay-per- I mean, un-pay-per-view worthy and that are pay-per-view worthy. Leave that up to the fans. I know you're a fan yourself of boxing. I know you're a former fighter. But at the end of the day, we paying the hardcore money, dog. We paying the hardcore money. We are the hardcore um, boxing fans. We understand what this fight is. We understand what we're getting when we're looking at this fight. And we understand the magnitude of this fight and where it can lead to. Where it can lead to. So this fight is still like it's going to go to a purse bid. If it don't go to a purse bid, that means they came to an agreement to bang it out. And, and Bob Erm or PBC stepped up to the plate and said, you know what? We're, gonna not, we're not going to let our fighters fall to fucking the zone or no fucking thriller. We're going to take this shit under our own hand and under our own umbrella and let this fight um, be worthy. Because it is worthy of our attention and it is worthy of our money. You feel me? So we'll see how this play out down the line, man. Um, Tim Brelli, you bald head, alien motherfucker. Keep your nose in your own business. Leave other people's business alone. Quit stepping on toes and quit trying to knock the next man hustle, dog. Because that's some weak ass shit to me. Both of these dudes got children. They got to feed their kids. They got to feed their family. Let them dudes eat. Let them eat. You dig? Shouts out to Showtime Sean Porter. Shouts out to Turns Bud Crawford. Let's get this fight made. We're going to enjoy it. We will pay for it. And then we'll see what Tim Brady have to say after the numbers come out. Until then, this your boy Monty. This is the NSBC moving in. Everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate, OG Money on Cash App. Trey Hampton 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.